Hey guys, this is Zach. Welcome back to another one of my Salem videos. And this time I'm gonna be going over some crafting things. Now I'm still exploring this game just like any of you in the beta. So I'm still figuring things out like anyone else. But after I unlocked my survival skills, we now have a few things here. We can craft a bunch of stuff here and we can also build a pile of wood. So we can just place down a pile of wood. Like if I zoom out here, you can see people have been doing this all over the place because it's basically the first thing you can build. But I found this nice little grove here and let's build a pile of wood right in the center. Let's see how this works. So I'm gonna build a pile of wood there and it's gonna require four branches. So we can collect branches from any tree and we, I think we just have to click this and drop it in there. That's right. So let's go grab a few more branches. We'll pick a branch here. Oh, we're stuck on the sign. And basically any construction project will put up this sign, which I'm not sure if, yeah, anyone can come along and contribute to the project. So let's pick another couple branches here. That's one in our inventory and one in our hand. So we can just put it down there. And ooh, can we actually hold a branch? And no, we have we have to put it down. We can't hold the branch and access this sign. So let's access this again and we can put another branch in. This would go faster if I cleared my inventory, but I just don't want to lose all these food stuffs just yet in case it comes in handy, especially uh, because I'm starting to consume some bile here. So let's pick up this branch and then we can walk over add another branch to the project and grab that last branch over there come over here and add the final branch in there and then we can click build and as you can see we start constructing our pile of wood and there we have it we have a pile of wood now i'm gonna guess we can set fire to this but i'm not sure how and building that didn't really give us any Thing there but we do have flint and I'm guessing flint should be able to be used to set fire to this thing but I'm not sure how we can't right click it now that just puts it down so let's keep that with us for now anyway that's how building things work now in crafting let's see what we can do we have clothes equipment and weapons food Inspirationals, hay, and tinder. A tinder drill is a lighting item which can be used to light objects such as an item such as fires, ovens, t and torches. Holding the tinder drill and right clicking on a lightable object or item to light it. There we go, that's how we uh, set fire to that thing. Okay, so this is how crafting works. We click on what we want to craft and it opens this. So it wants two branches and three of any tinder. Now, autumn grass works as tinder and a few items do work as tinder, but it will specify when you mouse over, you can see here autumn grass, autumn grass can be used as tinder. So we're gonna need two branches. So let's grab two of them, pick branch. This will put one in our inventory and one in our hand and we should be able to drop it straight into here. Oh, no. But well, we actually have to have it in our inventory, I guess. So we can get the branches at any time. But we do need three autumn grass. So let's drop something. I don't think we need these crowberry stalks. We do have two of them anyway. Let's just pick the one that's worth less. This one has more stats. This one has... Uh, okay, we'll drop this one. We don't really need this. There we go. Now let's go get some grass. And when I come back, I'll construct this tinder drill. Okay, so I couldn't find any tinder, but uh, what I did do is, seeing under crafting, we can craft quite a few other things. Under clothes and equipment, we can craft a torch, we can craft all kinds of foods, like autumn delight, berries on a straw, sizzled slug, or meat and game where we have roasted meat, where it seems like we need any raw meat, really. Uh, but what I decided to craft was under inspirationals and I didn't have some of these things like 
these things take up quite a few advanced items, well, it's advanced for me at the time. And for example, Captivating Flame, it requires Tinder, which I really can't find Tinder. It's strange in a game where the rarest thing you're trying to find is grass, but I did have enough to craft a taste of the new world. And basically, uh, in my inventory, I had these items. I had one autumn grass, I had one flint, I had a stone which I chipped off a big rock, and I had a branch, and I created this a taste of a new world. And what that allows you to do is it unlocks, when you study it, it adds to more of your skills here, which basically a smooth stone didn't get. Uh, and that's basically how this game works. You build up your skill, well you find some items, you build up your skills which allow you to find new items and craft new items which makes you able to build more skills or craft more advanced foods which generally makes you more powerful. So the whole goal of the game is to collect natural resources, craft some items which will either increase your energies up here or allow you to build up your skills here. And as you can see, I did unlock foraging because I was hoping to that it'll help me find some tinder, but it didn't really. But it did unlock a few things here, like you can see essential mineralogy and law of the lumberwoods. And you can see they're in red because it requires more than 500 to learn this thing. So we do have to level up our skills to be able to uh, learn these skills at all. The yellow ones are in our reach now. And that's basically how crafting works in this game. Alright, that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next video!